Hey, what's up SaaS Masters? My name is George and today I want to show you a lifetime deal that lets you unify a bunch of links into one single link. Commonly used, for example, Instagram or TikTok that only lets you put one single link. So the reason you would use this is to take advantage of that one single link to take them to a nice looking page where you have a bunch of links, videos, embeds, and a bunch of other stuff. One of the cool features about this deal is that it also lets you integrate subscriptions and even sell products with this one. So this one is called High Page. Let's go check out the deal and then go check out how to actually use it. So let's jump over to my desktop. Okay, this is the lifetime deal that's going on right now, and it starts off at $39 for a lifetime deal. That means you pay once, use it forever. And if you guys would like to support me, that link in the description gives me a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. So it helps me out. Now, what does that plan actually get you? Well, the important things. You get zero transaction fees. So if you get the membership plan with subscriptions, they won't deduct any fees. Obviously, you do have to pay the fees from PayPal and Stripe, which are the payment gateways that this connects to. Now, the unfortunate part about the $39 deal is that you don't get the membership or the subscription on this, okay? You do get three custom domains. Now, if you jump to license tier one, which license tier two, which is the minimum I recommend, the, it does get you the subscriptions and membership and 10 domains. Now, if you need more domains, jump to license tier five, which is $399, and you get 100 domains. And that would be if you want to use this as a business, right? Sell it to clients because it's super easy to build. Now, who is this deal for? First of all, it's this deal is mostly used for people who don't have knowledge of building websites or you do have knowledge to build websites, but you don't want to go through all the trouble of installing plugins, themes and building everything from scratch. This helps you out to do it really fast and just sell it to a client. The bad part about it is that you don't have the flexibility of actually doing it yourself from scratch. OK, so it's like give or take things. Let's go jump over to how this actually looks. Here's a demo link from Jack Paxton. You can see you got the title, you got description, some social links. You got some links that are added right here, some embeds. For example, Spotify is embedded here. This video is embedded there. Um, you can sell, for example, donation, connect the payment gateway and start donating. You have the more links right there. You can change colors, backgrounds and all of this. Now, in my honest opinion, I think the customization and the look can improve a lot. So I think they have a lot of, a lot to work on there. And you will see that when we build one of these links. All right, let's go into the builder. Here's a brand new project and this is how it starts off, right? So we can add the links right here. You got the default social icons and on the left we have the menu. Okay. Let me show you this really quickly. Dashboard orders, links, page products. Let's go first into links. Let me click on add a link. And we have several options. We got regular link, which is what it says, obvious social media link, which gives you already built icons for depending on the social media account that you want to use. So you select the platform that you want. Not all the social media accounts are right here. The most popular ones are there so you can see them. But for example, if I choose YouTube, it changes there and we can change the color if we like or we can upload an image. So if the social media icon is not there, you add your own add your information right here and you're good to go. We'll add it there. We can add another link. We can embed. You saw how that works. You can embed Spotify, uh, YouTube videos and all of that product and membership. So if you want to add your products right here, we need to create them first. We haven't created any, but we'll leave that for now. Donations. You saw how that works pops up at the amount and start paying. Obviously, you have to connect your payment gateway. Like I said before, Stripe and PayPal are the payment gateways that you can use and take custom fan requests. Um, this is mostly used, for example, hey, you know what? I'll give you a shout out on my next video for $20. And it's something simple. You open up the link, give out the shout out, good to go. All right. And that's how you add that there. Next thing we have is the design. Okay. These are the design options that you have. Like I mentioned before, I wish they got a little bit more flexible on this and more customization, but we could change the color. For example, start with pre-made themes. See how that changed. The Jack Paxton theme is this one, or we can choose, let's go with dark. All right. The headline color, text color, you change all of these custom. If you want to choose that updates on the right, you can view it. Okay. Click away. Oh. Finish editing, finish editing. Again, you can just link links box, background color, link box uh, border, link color, button color, background image. You can upload your own. 
I don't want to upload right now. And I go text and fonts. What type of fonts do you want to use? And these are the fonts that are available. No custom fonts right now. The email box, do you want to show it or not? You want to show the box right there. There it is, join my list. Quick way to get a subscription connected. Update settings, saved. We can add the image right there. We'll use, we'll just keep it like that. View it and your link is good to go. Um, in a sense, if you were to only add links, you could do it in less than five minutes, all right? You add the links, change colors, boom, you got a link ready. Now, if you wanna connect your custom domain, you have to go into the settings. So for settings, we'll go in here, okay? You add your custom domain, obviously you have to connect it to your DNS, so it actually knows it's using the custom domain. Uh, default username, in this case, I'm just using SAS for this. The home page, length, the branding, if you want to use the social icons that you saw on the top. Com company info, next thing you have is the payment gateway settings. So Stripe and PayPal, and the email integrations. So right here, you connect the integration when, when you use that sign up email, it goes straight to over there. Um, what I don't see is webhooks, but you can use Zapier, which you can use webhooks from there, all right? You can add your Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. Oh, they do have the webhook, there it is. That's really useful because you can use other type of automation systems to do to use the webhook, all right? Finance, financial and shipping, if you wanna add the VAT. Shipping rates, default emails, no SMTP, but you can customize the emails for all of this, transaction emails, opt-in confirmations, and all of those. All right, let's go back into our links page. Okay, so we have design. Now let's go to settings. In settings, this is the individual settings for this one. Again, you can add most of the things right here. In this case, we're using the custom, the main domain from theirs. We're, we're not connecting the custom domain. If I was, I could use it there. The share image, social image. What does this mean? It's the default image. So if I share that link on Facebook, you know how an image pops up? Well, that's a custom one that I can add right here. Terms of service, privacy policy, if you want to show those or hide them. And the analytics, once you start using it, you would be able to view the analytics, page views, link clicks, and you get that information right here. Analytics is pretty weak, not a lot of information. You don't get um, to see where they're from, like by country or something like that. So that's not available there. We have the products. If you want to add products right here, which is something that makes it a little bit more unique than other BioLink type of, of SaaS out there. Okay, if you want to add a product, let's click on there, create a product. And if you ever created a post on WordPress, for example, it's kind of the basic concept. You got title, description, you got the tags, the category, the image, images, product price, Here's the price, you want to sell price, compare price. Is this a one-time price? So they buy it and that's all. The payment plan, monthly, annual, or free. Shipping, inventory, digital files, delivery, and external link to Zoom, Hangouts. And you have the actions. So when something happens, what's going to happen, right? So if, the purchase, if they purchase the product, the action is going to be this, add a profile tag or remove, which tag, and finish, all right? And this one's pretty powerful, I think, the design for the membership. Membership lets you create an area where you only add your own things. Um, you can even use this, how would you consider, to my fan, only my fans, something like that, or to put your exclusive content right here for a paid membership plan only. And you can design right here how you want it to look. For example, colors, text, posts, subscriber alert, email box, and all that. How is the post going to look? You can also do that right here. And the membership, you can do post. When you have members, obviously you create the post. You have the plans that are available. You'd have to connect to Stripe to actually add the plans there. You have the subscribers list. So once people start subscribing, you would view them right here. And when you have payments and subscriptions to the plan, you view the orders right here. So you have a neat form to view all of that and the people who have subscribed right here. In this case, it's just me right now. Oh, no, this is for the team members. The others would be on the membership plan right here, subscribers, right? And the dashboard for the overall analytics right there. Um, things that I think they should consider, like I said before, there should be more customization on how it actually looks. For example, there's no gradient colors. There's no 
GIF that you can have, for example, in the background, which are pretty popular right now. Um, some shadows on the box it makes it a little bit more modern in my personal perspective of what I think. Um, custom fonts, they should add that also. And basically, that's what I think they should improve on, the how the way it actually looks. I wish it looked a little bit more nicer and more modern than this. It looks a little bit dull. Now, right here, we're viewing on a desktop. This is for obvious reasons. It's mostly for used in mobile devices. Oh, clicked on that one, sorry. Mobile devices, so for example, like I said before, it's like, for example, use it on Instagram, on TikTok, click on it, they open it up like this, and, the, and you get the whole view of all the links that you have available to your subscription plan, to your other websites, to other stuff like that. So basically, that is how it works. Um, that's what I have to say about Hypage. Like I said before, it's not for everyone. It's for someone who is looking for something simple to save time and create it. If you want to do this for yourself or for clients, it's just to do it really quickly. If you need to build something more complex and customized, then obviously this is not for you. So those are the two ways that you would look at this if you want to get it or not. So deciding if it's you're looking for something simple, if you're looking for something that you can just build really quickly for clients, then this is for you. All right. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.